Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. So, looks a little bit like a mess right now. <laughs> but today I am going to be um, answering a couple questions that I got when I put up a Q&A poll on my Instagram. Um, and then I'm also going to be rearranging my binders um, because let's just get started because this video will otherwise be really long um yeah i just want to kind of switch out my binders mid-year keep me motivated um keep things fresh and like making it feel new so what i've decided to do is completely change up my binders and envelopes so i'm going to be using these two binders i'm not touching my savings challenges or anything like that um i may just go in and just tidy them up a bit but yeah i'm going to be using this one i'm going to be using this pink one this pink one for my long-term single funds and this yellow one for my sinking funds that i dip into a lot more often so let's just start with this binder so this is available in my shop um and i just really think the pink and the yellow is very summery goes really nice together so that is the plan of action so while i try to put i also made these new envelopes these aren't on my shop um just because they just do take a very long time to what's the word make so yeah they're not going to be on my shop um i just made them for myself um so the first question i got was my fave thing my favorite thing about budgeting um and to be honest i think the favorite thing for me is just especially my savings challenges how quick things actually add up um and i know lots of people want to you know like hate on using cash and things like that but honestly like it really when i have things in cash i just do not touch it um i've never actually saved like this much consistently um and then i think to be honest like another one of my favorite things about budgeting is the fact that um i have a channel and i have an etsy and i have always wanted both of those things from when I first started watching cash stuffings when I was like 16. Um, each of these is just going to get a cash envelope tracker. Uh, it should really say sinking fun, but this is what I had printed, so I thought I would just use them. So I'm just going to add them into each one. Again, these are on my shop. Um, and it's just because where I dip into these a lot more often, I think it'd be nice to actually track what's coming in and what's going out because um, I've never actually really used like trackers before so yeah so yeah favorite thing about budgeting is just how well it actually works for me I guess um, and how much of a difference I've noticed but yeah comment down below your favorite thing um, what do I do for work? So, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I have actually answered it in depth somewhere else, I think on Instagram once. Uh, but I do work for my local council, uh, within social services. So I work with a lot of like vulnerable, um, young people. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go too much in depth, but it's, yeah, it's very rewarding, but very stressful at the same time. <laughs> Um, so happy mail is, I'm going to use my saving challenge for this one. Um, and I'm just going to pop that like so. I'm not going to add a tracker, but actually, you know what? I'll do it the other way. But yeah, so that is going to be my happy mail savings. I'm also going to be introducing some new savings challenges. So we've added those cash envelope trackers. And then I'm just going to move these to the side for now and with my old binder just transfer any money these all are pretty empty but i think a couple has stuff yeah so gifts um, i'm going to there i'll fill in the tracker later on 
I've just realised. Oh no, that that is the right way. Oh no, it's not. Off to a good start. Off to, or is it? Oh, they're all backwards. <laughs> good start. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, cool. So that is those all set up. Was there any other money? Yeah, I think so. Aussie and Oreo had £20. So that's that binder. All empty. And yeah, I'll probably use that one again, like at a later date or something. So I've made it just O and O for Aussie and Oreo, which are my guinea pigs. So that is that. Cool. So I think that is that binder all done basically. I just, I love this yellow. Um, so the next uh, question was my biggest savings goal at the moment. Um, and I would say my biggest savings goal is probably saving for a house deposit. Um, but in general, it is just about saving money so that at the end of the year, I can max out my LISA and pay off my credit card and things like that. So yeah, probably savings got bigger savings got at the moment is my LISA and um, debt, I would say, yeah. So this pink binder... Um, I'm going to be adding zipper envelopes too that I've made. Oh, they've all got those like little hole things. So, yeah, I definitely think guys, like, if um, actually this will lead on to my next question, which is um, advice. At any advice when you become exhausted from budgeting um, and I can definitely relate to this um, the last like two months I've just I've gone in a bit of a spend up and yeah I've just not really been following my budget that much um, I think the advice honestly is just keep going even if you do fall off track like do just keep doing it um, even if you're not following it 100% at least you've got that there um, I mean, this, this is what I'm doing to kind of, oh, I've already actually put the car maintenance in that. I'm just reusing an envelope because why not? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think you just got to change things up and like, if something's not working for you, do something else. Like, I think, um, I know what I used to do was like follow other people's channels like what they did exactly when that doesn't really work for you like I think everyone's is different um I know I think it's so normal to become just like a bit bored of it or whatever or feel like you've been really restricted or so on um but I mean I'm doing this to keep myself feeling motivated and like changing it up so it just gets me excited and that they're all looking pretty again I always find that helps me um I think you just got to try different things you know either switching out categories changing your binders um and you can always just make them at home you know that's what I always used to do um so yeah these are so annoying Cool. so that is those um so the next question i got was um oh hang on let me just put that in so this is my cashless tracker and my lysa savings i like to just have them do you know what i might actually put it in like that yeah yeah i'm gonna do it like that cool so that is my lysa savings that's just like a visual tracker i do um and then the cashless tracker because it's all in my lysa account and then let's just take all of these out i think 
and we'll move the savings challenges in a minute. So, emergency fund. Yeah, so the question was, biggest priority for a student in their early 20s? Um, finance related, obviously. Um, I would say probably just actually having a little bit of savings behind you. Um, I wasn't a student myself, um, but I do really regret the fact I've literally got nothing to show for, you know, I was working from like 14 years old. I mean, I always paid for things and I can never really ask for money, but I don't actually have anything to show for it. Um, so yeah, I, sh I just don't know where my money went, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, I would just probably just say save if you can, really. Um, and also just like an emergency fund and things like that. I guess it's just different for everyone. So I'm not too sure, but yeah, so that's emergency fund. And I'm going to be putting all the trackers at the back. So debt doesn't have anything in, but I'm going to be adding. So these are the savings challenges I'm going to be adding in. I'm going to be adding birthdays. These are just placeholders that I was going to put in my binder. Shopping, seasons, duh, duh, duh. yeah. Okay, so debt, I'm going to be using my credit card savings challenge. I'm going to fill that out when we do my cash stuff in. I'm going to flip that actually. So yeah, I just do like to have visual trackers. Just, they really do keep me motivated. Uh, Pilates, what are you? I just thought this would be a, like a nice video to watch if like maybe you're switching out your binders as well. And it's just like a bit chatty, you know. Um, vacation doesn't actually have anything to put in. Car insurance. So the next question is, can I make penny saving challenges? And um, I have actually been asked this a couple times on other like when I asked you what saving challenges you want to see and if I'm being honest um they take a really really long time to make so I think that's one of the reasons why I've been putting it off but also because I personally like I personally don't like them um they don't work for me they don't motivate me they don't like get me excited or anything um so I think that's another reason why i've kind of not done it because it just it it doesn't interest me um and i know that probably sounds really horrible <laughs> like i'm not making it because i don't like them but i mean there are so many nice ones out there um and lots of people love penny saving challenges but for me it's just so too much of a slow burner just yeah i don't know i just don't really like it so yeah um car tax um and then the next one was the first budgeting challenge i presume they mean like saving challenge i started um and ironically i think it actually might be the pen penny savings challenge i mean in terms of this channel um and like my budgeting journey that i stuck to it was the 25 envelope challenge but yeah like probably when I was like 15 or something I did like the penny savings challenge um and also prior to Etsy I actually ordered the 50 envelope challenge from pinching the pennies this was like quite a few years ago now um she's definitely like the one who started it I think she like she started with the whole craft envelope things if that makes sense um so yeah, I did her, well, I never even finished it because I, again, that, I don't know, it just didn't really work for me. Um, but yeah, I just got too a bit obsessed with it and then I'd like have to end up dipping into it because I couldn't actually do it. I was like on a small income at the time and I just pushed myself too much, if that makes sense. Um, so birthday is a new one and these are from Dee Dee Louise Budgets. Um, uh, the pink one is for me and this one is for my boyfriend. And his birthday has just gone, so I will be starting that this 
budget, July's budget, and yeah, I think these are so nice. So that is going there. And the reason it's in this binder is because I'm not really gonna be touching it for a year. Uh, next up, we have my shopping savings. This is another challenge I am starting. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd put it in this binder. So that is that. Again, that's available at my shop. I've just realised I should actually be flipping them. But I won't just now because there's no money in them. So yeah, so that is that binder. I'm just going to take these off. I just accumulated so much rubbish like in my binders. Um, so yeah. So these placeholders are from What If I Fly. Um, and I am just going to pop them there. Just for when I need them. I think I'm going to need them for my savings challenges. Um, and then again, oops, my car savings and my luxury are ones I'm going to be starting soon. So I think I'm just going to pop them in the back for now. Um, and then looking at my other binder, I'm just going to take everything out. Um, and then I'll put it in my other binder. It's a sad time to be seeing this croc binder go, but I'm sure I'll be actually using it again soon, knowing me. Um, oh, I'm also just gonna put the 100 envelope challenge at the back as well, because they're the ones I kind of want to start next. So I'm gonna put my cash breakdown card here. It matches perfectly. And then, do I want that in there? Yeah, that looks cute. Choose kindness. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I think scratch and save. I will also put the back actually because I do want to do that. That's from Rainbow Budget, as I'm sure you all know. Um, so the next question was any more holidays planned? Um, at the moment. I'm going to put these just to the side for now because I'm not going to start them just yet, but I definitely will at some point. So, yeah, so that is that binder pretty much done. I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's so thick. Is she too thick? Okay, uh, she's bulging out the edges, but that should be fine. So yeah, so that is that binder. I'll just do a quick flip through. So we've got Lysa Savings, my cashless tracker, emergency fund, debt, with my credit card tracker, Pilates, vacation. I will probably print a savings challenge for that. But um, that question said, any more holidays planned? And I don't at the moment. Um, I was, was talking with my boyfriend about going away for my birthday. I don't know, I'm just a bit holidayed out, to be honest. Car insurance with the save 1,000. Car maintenance. Car tax with the £5 challenge. Birthdays, shopping savings, and then just bank. So, yeah, so that is that binder all done. So, let's just go on to my savings challenges. Because I'm not switching out the binders per se, but I want to add... My seasons saving challenges, and that is from Budget with Shah, um, because I'm starting the summer one this month. So that's going to get its own, not that one, it's going to get its own envelope. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I recently got back from Mallorca, and I did not have a very good experience at the airport. It was, oh my gosh, honestly, beyond stressful. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just a little bit put off, especially for the summer. I think I'm just going to stay put. Um, and to be honest, like, the next holiday I want to go on is, like, maybe to, like, Sri Lanka or Mexico. You know, not just, like, a generic holiday, if that makes sense. I want to go an actual, like, travel a country. Not traveling for, like, six months or anything, but... Does that make sense? Like that type of holiday, not like um, a relaxing one or like a European one. 
so yeah so there are a couple i need to just take out of here so summer savings challenge we um emptied that one um and then also the money saving bingo we finished so i'm gonna be putting the seasons savings challenge here um and then all these that are to do with my rollover change and anything like that i'm just going to pop in the back here because these aren't really going to be used this month just because um any rollover is going to go towards my debt so yeah i just need to work out where to put this let's see will it fit in here yeah i think it will actually yeah nice cool so that's in there so that is that binder um, and I think that these will look really nice when they've got money in. <laughs> Emphasis on when they have money in. So, yeah, so that is my little binder redo. Um, I didn't want it to be too, too long. Maybe it is. I don't know. Do ramble. But, yeah. <laughs> that is my new binders. And I just, I am really liking the pink and the yellow together i think it looks really nice um and just if that had money in oh, that would, for the thumbnail let's just let's just put this here you know cool i absolutely love that i just think they look so nice together and very much you know like summery and things like that um realizing how much of a mess that this is <laughs> so yeah so obviously that is my cash envelopes my savings challenges are in and all of this is on my etsy guys my sparkle rose gold um and then obviously my um short-term and long-term singing funds so yeah so that is all of them and yeah i think they look really really nice so i'm really happy with that and i hope maybe it just inspired you to just if you are feeling a little bit unmotivated or you just need a bit of a refresh just change some things up you know it's it's june we've made it halfway through the year and i know like i've been doing it since a little bit before january so i just felt like i did want a bit of a change um so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and hopefully it gave you some inspiration and whatnot, and yeah, <laughs> I will see you in my next video.